Thank you for these interesting uh, remarks, uh, which is a list of uh, agenda for us as MEP. But uh, looking back to, uh, to the morning, the day where we have this conference, in my opinion, was the first green conference, which were really attended for, for a huge uh, number of uh, trade unions. It was the first time. Mm -hmm. Do you feel we could start uh, uh, a new alliance between um, the elite, which uh, push long time the ecological transformation, and the trade union, which uh, really care to have good working uh, conditions uh, for their workers and uh, in general uh, bring uh, the workers in? this ecological transformation? Do you think it could start? I think there's a, a real moment of opportunity for it. I think it's been developing over the last few months, over the last few years, but I think that one of the, um, the important basis for this is that clearly in, within the green movement and within the trade union movement, we're defending the interests of our movement. So from a tra uh, as a trade unionist, I'm defending uh, the interests of um, our members, of workers in our industries. And for those workers, I think it's increasingly clear that workplaces, um, and I should say industrial workers, were some of the first environmentalists, if we, if we look at this. If we look at the increased protection of air pollution, of water, of um, regulation on uh, hazardous chemicals, of products and so on. It was industrial workers who were identifying the diseases and the uh, disorders that they were having in their, either in their workplaces through occupational health and safety mm -hmm. questions or in their communities wanting to clean up the, if we think about the 19th century industrial oh, yeah. cities wanting yeah. to clean up the, yeah. the industrial hinterland. And therefore, environmentalism has, is core to also to trade union business. I think part of the, the um, process which is underway now, which today was a very interesting debate because of bringing together our demands in terms of decent work, of proper working conditions and um, a social justice agenda with the green um, agenda in terms of environmental protection of ecological modernization, is that these two are actually not conflicting agendas, they're um, totally interlinked, but we need to understand each other better. Mm -hmm. And I think the process of understanding is crucial because there are many misunderstandings of, of um, trade union actions which are undertaken and equally misunderstandings within the trade union movement about the objectives of green um, uh, campaigners, organisations and so on. I think there are some good examples that we can learn from. Um, we have good examples at the local level. We have alliances in the transformation mm -hmm. of companies. Um, we have good company examples where activities have been transformed from um, more unsustainable in, in one economically unsustainable, socially unsustainable, environmentally unsustainable manner, mm -hmm. have been transformed into more sustainable activities. Mm -hmm. The example this morning of Umicor is a, a very good example of a company which has transformed its corporate strategy towards a more sustainable, in all three senses, model. Uh, equally, we have examples um, in other sectors as well. For example, right this morning I raised the example of uh, Moventus, mm -hmm. uh, where an alliance was, uh, uh, you know, built within the company, within the trade unions, the company to um, transform the activities from the paper industry, then a supply chain into the paper industry, mm -hmm. to a uh, supply chain into the wind industry, wind mm -hmm. turbine industry. So we have examples of where these alliances are developing locally I think um, there are national examples that we can also learn from and here we're, we're looking at the trade union movement at uh, the blue green alliance in the United States which brings together United Steel Workers with the Sierra Club of environmental NGOs to see how they've overcome some of these uh, basic misunderstandings between 
uh, mm. uh, green demands and labour demands, and to try and push forward a really decent green deal for um, for not only for Europe but also internationally, and to uh, to push for um, a sustainable development in all three senses of the term. Thank you so much. This seems to be we will start it in Europe also a blue green alliance coming together, uh, the inter, uh, bringing together the interest of the workers to keep their job, to have a, a decent income and a decent life, and to transform the industry uh, towards a sustainable industry, uh, environmentally friendly industry. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Judith, coming from the metal workers from the Europe Association. Thank you Pleasure. so much. Thank you.